In today's health alert, important advice surrounding a seasonal specialty. Visiting cider mills and drinking apple cider are treasured fall traditions for many families, but many don't realize that unpasteurized apple cider can carry health risks. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now. And Doc, talk about this. We look forward to tasting I, it. Yeah, we love it. Our whole family loves yeah. cider, right? It's very tasty, has some great health benefits. But you may notice when you buy it at uh, the, the cider mills that it's golden brown and often looks a bit murky. Why is that? Because it's unfiltered and unpasteurized, which means that it could, could contain harmful bacteria that could make you sick. And this is well known to the FDA, who have received reports of food poisoning outbreaks linked to unpasteurized juice and cider. So you see when, when fruits are fresh squeezed or used raw, glenda bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, cryptosporidium, parasites can end up in the cider and apples can pick up bacteria from the soil, water, animals, or even during processing and handling. And that's why we think that pasteurization is so important. It uses heat or ultraviolet light to kill the bacteria, making the cider safe to drink while keeping all of its nutritional properties. So how can we look at cider and tell whether it's safe or not? Yeah, because it looks good, right? So <laughs> it according to the FDA, good. Glenn, the most juice sold in the U.S. is pasteurized, but apple orchards can skip pasteurization when selling cider by the glass since it's not required. You can also find unpasteurized juice at some grocery stores, health food stores, farmers markets, and these products must have a label warning consumers that the juice is not pasteurized and could possibly cause serious, serious illness in, in children, children and the elderly and people with weakened immune systems. Now, symptoms of food poisoning, and this is important to, to hear this, stomach cramps, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. In severe cases, in fact, it can lead to dehydration, serious complications, and in, in some cases, even death, especially for vulnerable groups. As for identifying a safe cider, always check the label, look for the word pasteurized. If you're in a cider mill, don't hesitate to ask, hey, is the cider treated? If you do buy apple cider that's unpasteurized, the CDC recommends this, at, at least one minute of boiling first to make sure it's safe, and don't forget to let it cool down, right, before drinking it. The good news is this, that pasteurization does not, I repeat, does not change the flavor. So you can't, can you, you can still enjoy your favorite fall drink without worrying about your health. So I think it's important. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, every single person is going to get sick, but the potential is there. So if you're at risk, hey, take the precautions. All right. Is hot cider safer or? If, you, if you're boiling it before okay. and right. then cooling it down, but just warming it, probably not enough. Okay, gotcha, Doc. But I'm going to go out there and drink some cider. So do I. The slushies are the best. <laughs> That's right. Thanks a lot, Doc. Appreciate that. My pleasure. If you have a health question or concern for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter or X. We'll get it right to him.